Who are these people that I refer to as the dark occultists? Satan came to Jesus once and said, if you'll just fall down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world and the power and the glory thereof. Of course, we know Jesus turned him down. But in my book, I document the families that did not turn down this offer. And since those times, since that time when they came into this thing, they have received an anointing and power and authority and provision from Lucifer to help him build his kingdom. These people are the wealthiest people in the world. They are the power behind kings. They have the influence and actually, if you get to studying and look at what they do, they have an anointing, a satanic anointing to do what they do. They are diabolically clever. You can call them a million different names, folks. It doesn't matter what you call them. You can call them sorcerers. You can call them dark Luciferians, those who have the light and use it for dark purposes. They are Satanists, okay? They are Setians. They are the dark Masons of the world. They are the dark Atonists. Aton was a variation of the sun or the light in the ancient Comitian tradition. Ultimately, it's all one cult, folks. It's the cult of the black sun. You could call them by any name you want, but they are a dark solar cult, okay? When I say the dark sun, why the black or the dark sun? The sun represents light. It represents knowledge. It represents empowerment. It represents life. The antithesis of that, the total polar inversion of that, is it's still a form of light, it's still the sun, but it has darkness within it. So it's knowledge being used for all the wrong reasons. Knowledge being used to control, not enlighten, not uplift. Knowledge being used to put people in a prison. Knowledge being used to, uh, being used as a power differential over people who are still in a level of ignorance. So, the globe deception. Flat Earth concurrent. And um, so everybody that's not a heliocentrist is concerned that we're being lied to, that there's a, a deception about the cosmology of the Earth. Um, so why have they done it? Why? Why would they, you know, to, to the concave, invert the model? Or if you're a flat earther, why, why, have they, why have they done this globe deception? Why? And what, what would be the reasons? I think there's a few, but they all involve God, like um, bringing people away from God, hiding God, attacking God, if they're trying to break into the celestial sphere, go physically at war. Um, so this concept of leave religion out of the cosmology debate really it's actually the whole thing's about religion. Which is a funny word, it means different things to different people. But if we think of it as belief systems, religions, belief systems, they've obviously created this globe line to influence belief systems. 